what's up guys and today today is the day because in the previous video i gave you a glimpse of what android 7.1 truly looks like on the android one device did i check the card so today let's look at android 7.1 on the infamous device the euphoria okay so see uh, I know I'm late. I am very late and don't kill me for that guys because I have a reason for being late. So the thing is that I have been checking out numerous, I mean numerous Android One ROMs, be it Resurrection Remix, be it AICP and stuff. But the thing that I've been, I have been finding common in those things is that they are Android 7.1 but they have the 3D touch also. But the thing is that they are so common. The, it's See Android 7.1 is not Android 7.1 until it's a Google Pixel. So. Believe me or not, today I am going to show you a ROM which looks exactly like the Google Pixel. The rounded icons, the camera, everything is like the Google Pixel. The Google Pixel, the phone that costs so much. But believe me, you can get that UI on the Euphoria. It's not the Pixel Experience Zip, guys. I am going to show you that it's not the Pixel Experience Zip. The rounded icons, you don't get the rounded icons with the Pixel Experience Zip. And it's not any default launcher also. I am going to show you that as well. So, let's just not waste time as you know. Let's just get into business, shall we? Okay, so today, if you're wondering who this butler, this butler is standing in front of you, and so let's just not waste time and let's get into business one more time. Let's look at how to install Android 7.1 on the UU Euphoria Keith Google Pixel. Let's get started. So if you are wondering how to go about it, it's time to start the Freaks and Geeks Radio once again, baby. Okay, so do ensure that your Euphoria is rooted and you have a custom recovery like TWRP installed on your device. Then go ahead, switch off your phone and then hold the power button and the volume down button to boot into TWRP recovery. Once you're in, go to backup and take a quick backup of the current OS you are in cause anything might go wrong and you can always come back to WRP recovery and restore your vintage OS then after you're done with that just go to wipe select Dalvik system data and cache and do the swipe to wipe so once you're up go to install and select the ROM from wherever you have stored it be it the internal storage or the micro SD card and select it and after that select open g apps and flash, swipe to confirm flash and that's about it guys you do not need to flash anything else so after it has completed flashing and do ensure uh, go to wipe and hit dalvik and cache after that hit reboot and hit system so after flashing is complete let me fast forward it and once you are into the rom this is the default lock screen that you get and let's quickly go ahead and unlock the device and let's see what we have so the first things come the first as you know geeks so let me show you the very first thing in this rom that will remind you of the google pixel or the pixel xl press the home button and you can see those four dots coming out of the four corners and that my friend is a true pixel animation that you can only find in the pixel xl and the pixel but the thing that i noticed is that to my surprise uh, long pressing it that is long pressing the power button gives you the Google now on tap and not the Google assistant It's pretty darn surprising because it's Android 7.1 So after that let's head on to settings and if you are wondering that why I went to settings like that by long pressing the Wi-Fi button Let me clarify guys. I have some problems in my unit with the motherboard uh, which uh, Indirectly as the customer service would say affects the kernel so what happens is that when I go to settings like that, uh, my device keeps on rebooting. So I do that. And don't worry, it will not happen on your device. Now going to additions, we have status bar and the usual set of customization options um, that we have been seeing in pretty much every CM 7.1 ROM. Going to quick settings, we can enable the brightness icon. As you can see, it appears in the quick settings as I showed you right now. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. Okay, the, after that we are done with that, let's move to system, we have screenshot type and basically it's the partial screenshot, you can take a partial area of your screen and do whatever you want with that. So yeah, it's pretty nice to put it within the codes. Okay, now next going to notification, as we can see that nothing much is there, but it's always good to see some implementations from Android KitKat and Lollipop that the ticker, the ticker is back once again. Okay, next up we have buttons. 
so as you can see that the show navigation arrows while typing and it, it is pretty useful guys it's pretty useful and nothing much to interest you uh, to be very specific guys okay so i missed one thing okay let's head on to system and as you can see the power menu option is there and you can select various options here yeah options i would say uh, to appear here uh, like that of we have screenshot screen record and so on but yeah for the first time i am seeing that google search to be implemented here as well so as you can see by pressing you can get google search from here directly uh, yeah pretty nice work developer okay so we are done okay now let's head on to about phone so once you're here as you can see it's the aos scp rom that's currently based on android 7.1.1 as you can see but <laughs> i have to show this to you guys I, I okay so when you keep on pressing the cypher os button it shows you a finger of your hand uh, I, I i don't know wh wh why this shows up i uh, i have no clue about this um it shows you uh, the finger of your hand uh, just identified guys bad work developer you shouldn't have done this small children install this rom so it's, it's just weird so I know most of you are quite familiar with this symbol, right? Haha, <laughs> LOL, going LOL. Okay, so yeah, that's um, pretty much it from settings point of view and rest. I don't know, rest is currently on your device. Go ahead, don't believe me? Check it, check it with the list. Okay, so now after that hilarious thing suddenly pop up, popped up, here's a quick glimpse of what 3D touch and how you should get it, basically. So now let's head on to settings settings and once again and let me show you the default launcher that came with this rom particular rom it's something called luna and if you click on that it's it's exactly like the de uh, default pixel launcher guys it's exactly the 3d touch works and everything works so uh, you have you now can see that why i have been emphasizing on the pixel thing and now you have many reasons to check this rom out don't you guys so finally we are pretty much done and there are no bugs i haven't encountered anything which can be termed as bugs so you can say everything does work so that's pretty much it from my side guys i hope you like this video and if you did you know what to do right you you can you are totally free to go crazy uh, on that like button to smash it to hit that like button basically and subscribe to my channel if you have not already because a video on the redmi note 3 and you're gonna like it it's is next and it's coming very soon and more videos on the u euphoria and the android one are yet to come so yeah thanks for watching stay a freak stay a geek until next time peace